Hello, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, folks. Welcome back. We are going to shed light on the shape of Africa and many more aspects of Africa on an article done by Jared Diamond. What do you think when you think of Africa? From my perspective, and for most of us, we think poverty, the animals, the jungle, the desert, or how hot it is. That brings me to my first point of this discussion, the climate. Africa has a north and south temperate time zone. Their climate seems to be more hot and more sporadic. A long time ago, approximately 7 million years ago, apes and protohumans diverged. Then now, 2 million years ago, they moved into Europe and Asia, which caused them to diverse. Now, 0.5 million years ago, the change is now called, their change is now called modern Homo sapiens. Moving on to agriculture, which came about 100,000 years ago, this allowed for people to settle in a, one place and grow their own food and call a place home. With this happening came the ability for Africans to develop their own tools, which means well, more metal tools. Now moving on to what Africa is mostly known for, from my perspective, the vast diversity of animals. Animals have developed in the same sense with humans, which caused a close relationship with humans and animals. They tend they tended to get together and have a good relationship. Some animals may have gone extended to other countries due to the modern weapons that were used to hunt animals, unlike the people that lived in Africa who didn't have those weapons, which caused a closer relationship to those animals. Finally, the most important aspect of Africa is the poverty. With poverty came diseases which came from the animals that inhabited Africa. Since they were close together with the animals, the animals' diseases spread to humans. Africa hasn't had the resources to help out the diseases, nor have the money for each other to help out compared to other continents who have been able to fight these diseases.